Good morning, it is Zachary from Zachary Sweeps. The customer's got a downdraft problem with their chimney, it's not drawing very well. So we're going to give it a bash. It's um, uh, a friend of mine from Denmark, it's, it's one of your, your makes. It's called a, a Euro something, I've got my glasses on, but it's got a Danish sign on the, on the, on the front of it. So basically what we're going to do is, we're, I've swept it, and we're gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this baffle plate up a little bit. And um, and then I'm going to do pack it with paper. You know what I'm like. Get the old paper. So it's, it's smoking everywhere. So we've, we've made sure it's all cleared inside. So what we'll do now. Get this paper in here. Hopefully you can see exactly what I'm doing. So it's the same principle for all the burners that are down dropping. Obviously now the frost is with us. We're going to have um, problems with um, downdrafting chimneys and downdrafting wood burners, so I think that'll be enough for the first time. Can we get some matches? Good old Cook's matches. No advertising for them there, but and then what we'll do is we'll light it and then we'll see what happens. Let's have a go. Light it there and there, because obviously the chimney's very cold. I'm going to stuck my brush up there, so hopefully. We we'll just leave the door open for a little bit and then we'll shut it. Remember one thing, always keep the door open a little bit. I don't want to hear that roar. I don't want to hear that roar because we know that it's obviously going up the chimney. Uh, let's see if we can shut it down and see what happens. See how quickly it dies down. The air vent's open fully. It's only got one air vent on this one. You hear that puffing, that's what we want to hear. Can you hear it like a steam train? It's drawing all up without, apparently it was leaking on the joint. It shouldn't do, we've, we've had a look, I've put a brush up there and I've actually uh, checked outside to make sure the cow's all cut fine and there's, there's no problems there. It's got a nice uh, two foot chimney pot on it, so it's looking good. See if I can bring it a bit closer. So you can see the flame. What we're going to do now is let that die down and then we're going to put the kindling in and we'll put some more paper in there and then we'll, we'll go from there. Oh, customers give me a nice cup of tea. Always the perk of the job. So what we've got to do now is we let it die down because obviously we, if we open it up we don't want any of that paper ash uh, floating into the room, especially onto a carpet. But what you're going to have to do is when you, if you have your first winter fire, you remember you can you can't have it the same way you had your last uh, winter fire. You get yeah uh, because because you if you remember you've been using all all, all winter, and um, basically what you've got to do is you've got to make sure that the flu is warm. Um, in England at the moment we've had like lots of torrential rain. I mean this week's been a nuts week. It's only Thursday, and this week we've had torrential rain. We've had um, hot sunshine, we've had frost, you name it, we've, uh, we've had it all this week, it's been incredible. So the chimneys are going to really suffer, so um, so like um, the, the best way of doing it, obviously you're not going to have to do this every time, um, you're only going to have to do this the first fire that you have after this. We've got some kindling down here, what we're going to do is we're going to put the kindling down in a minute, but what I want to do next is um see this what I always do you know is I put a bit of kindling in there and then what we need to do is just open it up a little bit like that and then we'll we've got to care because we, we need some kindling in there just to line the base of it because obviously because we've used paper first to get it to dry if I put paper straight in there after doing that then the paper's just going to light and then you're going to be on a it's going to be a nightmare you're just going to be keep burning paper so put a bit of kindling like that in there like that like you would do just put a bit of kindling like that and then we'll, we'll put a paper around it but remember when you the key what a lot of people do when they use paper is they, they screw it up like that and then they put it in, it's no good, it's got to be as loose as anything like that. 
I mean, obviously screw it up a little bit, but keep it as loose as you can. Like that. And then just fill it up. Again. Sometimes you have to do it two or three times. Sometimes you do it, have to do it once, but we'll find out in a minute. well now because what we've been looking for now is if you remember on, on my other videos we're listening for the crackling and once we get the crackling noise then we know that have you got any wood sir at all any small bits of wood flying around and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll listen for the crackling Put some more. see don't be frightened of it as I said if you've had it swept it's not going to catch light, so just keep filling up the paper. No problem at all. So I'll put one more in there, like that. Maybe, maybe one more, just in the, like that too, I think. And then what we'll do, that's lovely, that's brilliant, thank you. And then what we'll do is we'll light the pipe, paper again. It's going to come off them because you can never tell where they land. I just do that. You, you can see, I'll right, quickly shut that door a little bit because um, not that it's going to come back in the room. So, that piece of paper, we'll shut that down now and see what happens. You hear that puffing, that's what we want to hear. If you touch that pipe now, you burn your hand. So remember, we'll be listening for crackling now. I'll just open that door a little bit. Just enough for oxygen to get in there. So you see how the flames just change now. Just leave it like that for a moment. Have a couple more slurps on the tea. Oh, that's splitting it. It's a good job I'm on my sheet and it's waterproof. So it's spinning around, which is fine because it's not leaking. So we're just going to leave the door open for a little bit because we want that oxygen. So remember, we're listening for crackling now. It could take about five minutes to, to, to crackle. So just keep enjoying the old cup of tea. You hear that? Sure, if I can open that a bit more without any smoke coming in. Go mm -hmm. now, isn't it? Wait a little bit damp, so it should be all right in a bit. So I'm going to just put one big piece in as well cold at the moment so what we're going to do is just pack it with a bit of wood the big pieces because that's what we want to be lighting now as well so we'll just stick that in there remember don't be frightened to fill it right up because it's going down just stick some paper around the edges you will know that by now that the wood will be drying out uh, that's why I want to put the big pieces in now because that will be the, the main part of the fire It's easy to get the chimney warm. If it had warmer logs, it'd probably be going now, but it doesn't matter. You stick all that in there. Yeah. So don't ever be frightened of it. 
just watch the, the, the baffle plate at the top, you don't want to crack that, so that not push it too hard. And then we'll light it again. Just light it. And we'll see what happens this time. Oh, did I hear a crackle? I can feel the heat already on that. If we went outside now, we'd probably see little sparks coming out the top. You haven't got any more paper, have you, sir? I've run out of paper. You used it all. Yeah. If you open the bottom, that might let it draw up a bit. What, this? Yeah. Oh, look at that. So we've just got to listen out for the crackle. See, it's good, good having the customer here because you always become a master of your own chimney. It wants to go, doesn't it? Mm. Well, the good thing is it's not smoking back into the room now. I just want that crackling noise. Come on. Definitely something going on in there. patience now finish the old tea will be going. It seems to have caught light at the back. So therapeutic. I don't want to really get a bit close. Just taking a bit of a bit of time to light this one. But there is flames coming.
or something's happening. Is that, eh? I think it's a line. I think so. <laughs> Well, you're not getting any smoke coming down. When I swept it, when I was bringing the brush back down, you could smell the dampness. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's, um, I think it's from the rain and the frost. You know, the weather's been just bonkers this week, hasn't it? I think that's been the main issue with it. But um, now that is what we've been waiting for. See, having the customer here, like telling me to open that bottom drawer. What a difference that's made. See, that's what I always say to people. It's like, oh, um, all my customers and everything, you know, I show them how to do things and I always say to them, after I've shown them, then they'll become the masters of their appliance. They know exactly how they work and everything. Here we go. Absolutely, that's what we were, we were waiting for. Eee. Once we hear that noise, we know we're, we're rocking. Hear that. Clearly, obviously, you don't have to do this every time you have a fire. It's only just the first ones of the winter. Or if you haven't used it for a few weeks and, and um, if the weather's been bad. It's drawing beautifully now. I wonder what it'll do if I shut that drawer now. Do yeah, I'd, sort of, I'd, I'd click it onto about half. So it just lit, literally just latches, so there's still air coming through. Right. Just a, like that. That's it. See? <laughs> learning all new things today. All, all the learning process. Just have my glasses on. What's that? Is it Euro? Denmark? What's that say? It says. Name N A M E. So Euro Denmark name. So like a, you know who you are, my Danish flame. friend. Sorry, flame. Euro Denmark flame. I need my glasses. Too. <laughs> <laughs>